Just waiting to get back on the highway here. This would be Highway 12. I'm on a bit of a road trip. I'm actually driving to Ottawa to go to uh, Matthias Wandels uh, for a couple of reasons. But uh, the other reason why I'm doing this is th this was something I wanted to do for a long time and that was to just get in my truck or van or car whatever I happen to have at the time to drive and just drive around and take pictures of rundown farmhouses and barns. Back when I was doing my day job we used to drive all over the place and uh, we'd see these old barns and farms uh, that were just left to rot. It's almost like, okay, this is, you know, productive at one time, and then someone just turned their back on it and walked away from it for whatever reasons. And I found that interesting, and it goes back to a book I read when I was, you know, a lot younger. And the name of the book, I'm not sure actually about the name of the book. I think it was um, a short story actually from the book, The Clockmaker. I started reading The Clockmaker at some point when I was younger because it, of the title it said clockmaker and I was always interested in making stuff so I was a little bit disappointed when I started reading it because it wasn't actually about a clockmaker it was about a guy that would you know go around selling clocks and the stories that you know evolved from that but anyway getting back to the story it was about a farmer that basically started with nothing and then he built up his farm he worked his ass off to build up his farm over the entirety of his life and then when he gets older and he can't work it anymore his kids don't want to take it over so it just you know so anyway I read the story I read the book I mean I was struck by that as you would be, I'm trying to look and see what we can see here. As you would be, you know, people that do stuff, you know, create stuff, build stuff. Um, I don't know about other people, but for me, it sometimes occurs to me when I put so much time and effort into building something, what will eventually happen to it? Now, I'm not talking small projects here. But the bigger projects that you do, I know I've spent a lot of time in the past working on things that I eventually sold, mainly houses. <clears throat> so, you know, that gets you to thinking about, I think I'm going to go this way. Yeah, I think I'm going to go this way. These are all dirt roads here. I'm hoping that I'm going to see something. It's pretty, it's pretty uh, empty here, but no, there's one up there. So I've got to do the old three-point turn here. I see there's one over there, but that one looks like it's in good shape. The one that's up here does not. Right, turn around. These roads are not very wide be anything in the ditch they could drop 20 feet <laughs> I doubt it but I'm gonna drive up there and try to get a look at that one It'll be my first one okay I can see the barn it looks like it's in rough shape there is a house here I don't know if, I, if it's occupied it may well be that's one of the things that I'm kind of leery about, actually. Um, going on people's property. Uh, there's cars there, so there's a really good chance that that's occupied. And they probably won't want a guy like me sneaking around back to take a picture of their car. But I think that what I'm going to do turn around and go back or I'm just going to drive up this road a little ways <clears throat> you 
Yeah, that's one of the problems right there is access to these places. You know, I don't want to, I've never been the type to just barge onto someone's property and, you know, start doing something or, you know, go up and knock on their door and say, hey, can I photograph your barn? <laughs> you know, so that's going to work against me on this trip. Okay, this road is taking me nowhere. I'm in the pretty dense forest here, and so I'm not going to see anything much up here, although there's one farm up there, but it's not run down, it's not falling down. I don't know if I'm going to actually see too many in this area because a lot of the stuff that's up here is not going to be older. Originally I was going to go west, head west, over towards Lake Huron where from, from here to Lake Huron there's a huge number of older farms that are exactly as I described. I know because I've seen a lot of them on my, you know, drives during my day job before. So I'm going to take a day after I finish this one and just go out west and take some pictures out there. I'll probably get more out there than in one day than I will on this one in two or three or however many days I decide I can stand to stay out here and do this you know this is something that's way outside my comfort zone actually I'm uh, I'm 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 the type of person that doesn't drop everything and go and do an adventure type thing uh, I never have been actually I've always been kind of focused at you know wherever I'm living at the time and that's where I'm the most comfortable. But, uh, and, the, and the other thing is, okay, I wanted to do this trip for several years, and it seems like with each passing year, I want to do something like this less and less, you know? So I figure if I don't do it now, I never will. Anyway, I'm coming up on Coming up on this field, I think, where I first saw the barn, I think. Or no, that wasn't it. I gotta go further down. No, that's it. That's it. I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna back up and I'm gonna walk through the field to try to get something of that if I can. This video is probably going to be very <laughs> disjointed to watch, but that's all I can do. I'm basically going to turn on the camera and talk to it whenever I have a chance here. And while I'm looking around, this is the ideal situation here. Other than the dirt road, the dirt road is creating a lot of noise. You'll probably, you'll probably still be able to hear me, but it might not be as pleasant to listen to. Not that I'm pleasant to listen to by any means, but yeah, this is the place to be for that kind of picture. Anyway, I don't know if I finished this story about the story in the book that I read. I kind of did, but I didn't get to the, the idea of it. Every time when I was out during my day job and we drive through the Ontario countryside, usually west of here actually, and see one of these old uh, barns or farmhouses falling in, I, that would remind me of that story every time. Okay, I've got pavement here. And this is Romero Road number 46. So maybe 
this one, there's a barn actually right there. And it's on the road, so, and it's got some creepers on it. Looks pretty good. I think I'll pull over here and get a couple of quick shots of it. The place is occupied, but I can get it from the road, so. Okay, well, I got a couple of shots. It's not a remarkable barn. I originally went out there with the 50 millimeter because I'm kind of far away from it, but I put it in too close, so I came back and got the 24 millimeter. I got another one, but that's a little bit too far away. It would be better to be able to get closer to the thing, but like I say, access especially in places where people are living I don't want to you know impose this thing about me I'm very accommodating or I don't want to impose on people ever that's the way I am anyway cruising along here I uh Need to make a turn coming up. I got traffic behind me, which is not nice. I think this is 12 again, so I'm back down on 12. Uh, the direction I'm taking here is generally east because I'm heading towards Ottawa, of course. So. really doesn't matter where I meander as long as I'm heading east, generally speaking. But I didn't want to be on these highways. This is Highway 12. Highway 12 is not a major, major highway. It does get a lot of traffic though, especially earlier in the morning. Right now it's 922 traffic will start to tail off towards the middle of the day and then it'll pick up in the afternoon again but there's not much to see on these highways too because it's usually anything that's been abandoned has been taken over and then used for something else you know the farm knocked down there was 10 so i gotta turn around and come back to that That's the other thing, you get traffic behind you and you don't want to drive slow looking for stuff, you know, the way that old people do. They just, you know, take their dead time. And I'm no spring chicken, but I'm not that old yet. Okay, looks like, looks promising up there. And definitely less traffic. here return I've done a lot of driving over the years um, and I really wanted to get you know I was really looking forward to getting away from that when I was able to stop doing that day job and do you know making videos and such on YouTube full-time now, I have to admit that if I had somebody with me on this particular trip, it probably would be more fun. And I'd probably get more shots because you get braver when you're around other people. So you're more likely to do something that you wouldn't be comfortable doing when you're alone, like I am right now. Like, you know, go up and knock on a door or whatever. So, on the, you know, after I do this one, my trip out west, I'm going to go with my brother I've already asked him we can go and you know leave in the morning and take a full day to do that come back in the evening so that will be interesting that will be different and like I said the majority of the better uh, rundown barns are probably out there anyway so look forward to that I'm not seeing very much here it's uh, not good it's like I said before, the 
this area is, I'm not going to say it's new. Now, see that house down there, but that's occupied. That's one soup. Oh boy, there we go. We got a good one there. Yep, I got to go back and pull over. I got it and a pretty good one. Took it with the 24 millimeter, took two or three shots. I was able to get right in, fairly close to it. I wanted to get the whole thing, but the barn itself wasn't falling down, but it was not in the best shape. It's gonna be falling down eventually. I don't know how long that will take, but at this point, I'm gonna take whatever I can, whatever I think looks interesting. It's a good day for it too. Uh, I actually couldn't hope for a better day because it's overcast, it's kind of murky. Uh, there's a lot of uh, cloud, there's some breaks in the cloud with some blue sky shining through. Uh, there's supposed to be scattered thunder showers today, so. It's going to be nice. I got a shot right there. Actually, I think. No, that's not going to be interesting. Yeah, I'm back on a dirt road, but I think this one dead ends. So I'll have to turn around and come back. Um, you know, there's barns here and there's farmhouses here. But they're operating farms by the look of them. Uh, the barns are not in great shape, but they're not falling down. So. Okay, that one was unusual because I was driving here on this road and it almost looked like that tree was right in the middle of the right in the middle of the road so kind of interesting it's like they left that there while they cleared everything else out it was I don't know well I'm not happy I have a problem with this lens this is my 12 millimeter that I more or less bought especially for this and it's malfunctioning I don't know what the heck it will not focus and will not release the shutter I don't know so that, <laughs> that limits my uh, options here for what I can take, but uh, what are you going to do? Stuff happens. Well, I haven't seen much in the way of burn activity lately, but I did stop to take a few shots of a an old windmill. Not a wooden one, but a metal one. It's interesting because it's got all kinds of vines growing all over it and there's a couple of interesting trees beside it too look like they're dead but I had one shot where the strap of the camera blew up in front of the lens and you know I thought the strap having the strap on there would be good so that I could you know have my hands free to do anything else but I don't need my hands free <laughs> to do anything else and I hate straps on cameras they get hung up on stuff so took it off just stop for an interesting looking fence, old cedar split rail one, that I think a lot of this land up here is just more or less pasture, or was. It doesn't look like it's being used for anything now, hardly. You know, the money's not in just small farming anymore, I don't think. One of the problems with doing this is that I don't know what I'm missing by not going a certain way. I tried to scout out locations like on Google Earth before I left, but 
it's really difficult to see where the interesting places are. Um, so this kind of random just driving around, although it seems to be working okay, um, I might be missing some really prime stuff. I gotta believe that a lot of the older places in this area have been bought in the last 20 or 25 years by people that want to get away from the city or whatever and think that they can you know, buy one of these small farm type places and you know do the country life thing and so you know they fix up the house and they leave everything else pretty much to fall down but well, I'll tell you, it's turned into a really nice day. Uh, I'm not getting, I'm not passing many burns, but I'm seeing a lot of pretty good scenery. And I'm taking pictures when I can. You know, the, I guess the idea <laughs> would be to try to make the best of this. Um, I'm very close to Peterborough right now. Trying to stay off of the main roads. I really like these side roads where there's very little or no traffic whatsoever. I've just stopped back there for like 10 minutes taking a picture and I never, my car never passed. So I really like that. But unfortunately, those um, roads are you know usually empty too there's not much there like this one right here i've got you know not much happening so let's keep looking and looking and looking uh, and right now it's one o'clock i've got maybe six hours of good daylight left now, there's a house up here right in there but I can't see any way to get to it. I drove up and I doubled back and I circled around and I can't find a way in. There's no driveway that I can see. The place looks like it's abandoned. I can get out. Oh, uh, here's the driveway actually. And it's got a gate on it and Looks like I'm going to have to walk up there. Um, even though it looks abandoned, uh, there's a newer looking uh, stove pipe coming through the roof. So, you know, it is possible. I've seen some stranger things. It is possible that someone is actually living in there. Although not likely. There were turkey hawks um, roosting on the roof and they flew off when I came. I don't know if I got any pictures of those. I tried to. I got a couple, maybe blurry. Yeah, so they 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 took off when I came. Um, you know, a large number of those. Sounds like they had a nest there. So more than likely, no one's living there. Uh, like I say, you never know. I'm just finishing a big loop around. I went through Cordova mines. I got one series of pictures here of a regular barn the noteworthy thing about that was that there was a dog barking across the street that was really annoying me I'm thinking that I'm gonna drive as far as Perth which is around another 70 kilometers right now it's quarter to five and um, get a motel room there for the night. I am just completely out of, you know, uh, motivation to look around for any more burns. 
that's all day I spent doing that and I have very little to show for it so I'm kind of quitting <laughs> uh, anyway there's there wasn't much there wasn't enough I mean what's the point of going around taking pictures okay what's the point of going around and taking pictures of burns that are not falling down when you specifically went out to take pictures of burns that are falling down that's that was the idea and I never I found none I found no burns that were falling down just doubling back here to try to get a picture of a wonky building I saw gas station it's closed is killing me <laughs> from sitting in this van all day oh man yeah I drove past it and then I said I should go back and take a picture of that but then I didn't but then I passed another burn and then I said okay well turn around take a picture of the burn also keep driving and take a picture of the gas station the only tr trouble is, is that the gas station is a lot further back, so a few miles, not a big deal. Okay, well, it's the next morning. I stayed in Perth overnight. I didn't get much sleep, though, for some reason. I don't know, just had a strange dream that kept cycling over and over again in my head, so. Anyway, I've started off to Ottawa but I've taken a, a kind of a uh, side trip in here just to have a quick look I don't have a lot of time before I get there but I got some time to have a look around so I thought I would come in here I just went back there and I got a picture of one burn and now I'm coming up on another one again one, yeah, unfortunately these are not falling down they're just burns <laughs> so but I figure you know I might as well take a picture of it while I'm here all right so that'll likely be the last picture I'll take um, uh, before I get to Ottawa unless I see something on highway 7 going through that catches my eye and I can stop quickly and get it but you know what I haven't seen anything so I did have fun the first part of yesterday though it was uh, you know, it wasn't a, a total write-off. I got some good pictures. I was looking at them last night on my crappy laptop with the crappy laptop screen. And you really can't see them well on that. But I can tell that they're, you know, well exposed, in focus for the most part. The, the, the stuff that I got. I, I took multiple photos of different things. So, <clears throat> not too bad overall. So Ottawa, I've been to Ottawa before, one time, actually, and that was around 15 years ago. And it was for one night, went to a kind of a party type thing. And uh, I didn't get a chance to see much of the city. I was there specifically just for that uh, event, so I didn't get a chance to look around. Not that I'm big on sightseeing, but it is the, you know, the capital of Canada. It's got the Parliament buildings, and we drove past those. And, you know, I resisted the urge to do the tourist thing. I think I had one of those little uh, disposable cameras with me at the time. But I didn't whip it out and do that, so. I guess they have traffic in Ottawa, too. <laughs> It's 20 after 6 though, and I just left Ottawa. Uh, it was a great day. I had a pretty good time. Picked up the pet router, talked to uh, the TS all day, and we did the live thing. And that went well, I thought. I was kind of anxious about that, but that's a problem I have. I get anxious about things like that. So, uh, anyway, it turned out well. I'm happy with how it went anyway. Also, it's great to talk to 
you know, somebody is doing this and, and well, I'm not at the same level. I'm not going to pretend that I am. But we're close. And, you know, discuss things that are, you know, relevant to doing this kind of thing. And not only that, the woodworking stuff as well. Because we basically do the same kind of projects. And it's always nice to talk to, you know, a like mind about that.